I think about the strength, like when she said, oh, he's so lucky to have advocates like you. That's, that's a false statement. We are fortunate to have a son like Liam. We're fortunate to have Liam as a son. We're fortunate to have Sophia as a daughter too, but we're fortunate in this conversation when people look at us and say, you're strong or what I'd like to say, which is not my job to say is the strength that you're talking about. Yes, I'm strong, but it's not the way you're talking about it. I'm not strong because of any noble deed that I'm doing by raising my son. That is a gift. Both of my children are gifts. The strength that is misperceived is the strength that comes from Liam's strength, from seeing his strength of spirit and determination. It comes from the compassion that I've developed in the fight for change talking to people and their lack of knowing about what Down syndrome really is. The strength comes from that fight for his education, not because my son has an IEP, but because I've learned how to sit in a room with people who don't believe in my son or me because I am an extension of my son. I can sit in a room of no's and still proceed on my path. I don't need to control it. I can be in a non-preferred activity. And, you know, uh, seven out of 10 times, <laughs> I'm going to respond appropriately. With minimal prompts. <laughs> With minimal prompts. <laughs> if you know, you know. 